Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a common camera glitch that you might be experiencing where you set up your camera and at first it's working just fine, but then as you continue to add more functions to your blueprints, eventually one of those functions causes the camera to glitch out and shoot off in a random direction. So we're going to take a look at what this is and how to fix it. So in the example we're using here, the function that causes this glitch is when we try to possess the player character with an AI controller. So to see what's wrong with that, we're going to go over to the player controller and in the details panel we're going to scroll down about halfway until we see the player controller section and we're going to look at these two options. Player camera manager class and by default it's set to none and auto manage active camera target and by default it's set to true. So let's just read the tooltips for both of these. For the camera manager, it says that it should be set for each game, otherwise the game will use the default camera manager. And for the auto manage active camera target, it says true to allow this player controller to manage the camera target for you. And it typically does this by using the possessed pawn as the camera target. So we can see that that's where the glitch is occurring because we're actually possessing the pawn with an AI controller. But on the AI controller, there's no equivalent camera options because an AI controller is typically used for non-player characters. So we're going to go back to the player controller and we're going to read what happens if we set this to false. So if we go back to the tooltip, it says set to false if you want to manually control the camera target. Well, we're already doing that because one of the first things you did when you created your level is you probably set your camera to the view target. So you're already manually controlling the camera. So it's safe for us to just simply uncheck that and see if that just fixes it, which it does. Our camera goes back the way we want it. But instead of stopping there, we're going to do one last thing. We're going to go back to that camera manager and instead of leaving it blank we're just going to create one real quick so we have something to fill in there so we're going to go to our content browser and just create a blueprint like you would any other blueprint we're just going to search for player camera manager select that and we'll just rename it so we can find it easier and let's go ahead and open it up and we'll go to the event graph now for now we don't have to actually put anything on it uh, but just keep this blueprint in mind because later on you're probably going to want to do some more advanced camera work and this is one of the places where you could put some of those functions but for now we'll just leave it blank and we'll just use this to fill in back on the player controller we'll just fill in this camera manager class with the one we created and just make sure that this is set to false and once again we'll just double check to make sure that our camera is working and there you go so I hope that helps. Uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more problem solving and how-to tutorials.